everyone and welcome to another Bitcoin market analysis by Inspo Crypto. Today is Monday but a very special one because as we know today Wall Street is closed so um, Bitcoin is not following anything as I know um, and um, yeah so the the volume declined again um, and since yesterday we are lifting up at the beginning it was looking very solid uh, to be honest so um, I, I was really thinking wow um, some demand there for spot m more than for futures but then it flipped and they are just pushing up with more futures and futures of course um, they use also spot but just less really less and um, it looks weak it keeps looking very weak um, so um, it looks a little bit like a dead cat uh, bounce at the moment and uh, we need to see if we can figure out um, what could happen today but really it's like a Sunday it's almost it's a big challenge um, in such conditions to figure out because options the volume we will check but it's very low and everything the whole market it's very quiet at the moment they are lifting up with stable coins and we are not even talking about big big amounts really not so let us take a look and what's happening here and in my opinion that um, the weight ratio uh, 30 days moving average it's indicating we are not done it's it's really just a dead cat bounce what we are seeing uh, so weights are sending more bitcoins to the exchanges again it's lifting up we need to see if uh, if we are hitting again our top here or if it starts to decline again but yeah it's um, since in the last two dates it's actually not surprising me however you know I mean Sundays weekends in general they can manipulate the market uh, to the downside but also to the upside and in the past we have seen much more in the recent past more to the downside but just before also to the upside and we need to be very careful because they can do that they just need to send 100 million in stable coins and that's it you know so we need to be very careful and at the same time i have tweeted about that pro share is going to launch tomorrow it's short future etf related to bitcoin so it's only short okay um so <laughs> it's not bullish at all you just can short Bitcoin there so it's just indicating you have to be bearish of course you can hedge whatever you can use different strategies to you to short but it's unique a short instrument because I, I was detecting some or at least one comment uh, the last time future ETF was bullish is that bullish no no it's not it's just short you you have <laughs> the only thing you can do with that is shorting Bitcoin you need to have a bearish sentiment otherwise you know it doesn't make sense to short it so yeah and what we see here is that the weights ratio pff, maintains it's not really declining anymore it maintains its level above of 90 and that's really crazy that's really crazy um, also something I wasn't expecting to be honest um, it's declining now a little bit but that's just too high and it maintains there um, at the same time it I think it's really easy to explain less retailers on board so the weights ratio has to lift up then and yeah stable coin reserves on exchanges declining i have received a lot of alerts 
this weekend um, indicating 150 million odd flow stable coins from Binance uh, 120 80 then again 120 and it takes I don't know why it takes then some days but then this money appears um, yeah in another whales alert indicating uh, they this money went directly to treasury to uh, tether treasury and that's going to be a very exciting story in my opinion because um, yeah I, I see a little bit that tether is a little bit stressed with the situation and they are trying I mean I have tweeted today the big break new now tether is going to provide a full audit well yeah since 2017 they are saying that first of all and the question is why now what happened um, just a few weeks ago Paolo the CTO of Bitfinex and tether at an interview they asked them why you guys are not providing a full audit for your clients and to generate you know trust and his re response was we don't need to the market is unregulated so what changed since then because the market keeps being unregulated and that indicates they are really stressed I have my doubts that they are really going to provide a full audit to be honest because I don't know I mean they had a lot of commercial papers they reduced their commercial papers the first thing they reduced them uh, with uh, they reduced the triple A I mean triple A you will always find someone that's going to buy your triple A uh, portfolio but they also had some um, lower rated commercial papers and as mentioned last Saturday it's going to be a challenge in the current market situation to find someone for the money you actually need to find someone that's going to buy you these commercial papers and even as a collateral I don't think I don't think actually that any bank will accept yeah lower rated commercial papers for any loan or something but yeah we need to see I mean it's really going to be very excited but the thing we can we can see and many are really stressed because of that because they are thinking that that that's over I don't think that's going to be over I don't think that's going to be a big drama for crypto maybe for some exchanges like coin uh, KuCoin I have tweeted to KuCoin if they are going to add some peers to other stable coins related to other stable coins like USDC for example or Day, DAI uh, we have also uh, Paxos DAI it's at least I don't know uh, at Paxos and USDC I, I don't think it's decentralized but at least DAI is decentralized and that's actually a good thing uh, in the past I was staking DAI um, for example on Coinbase so we have different alternatives and we can see also related to the market cap that um, tether market caps is reducing and USDC is rising so it seems that big weights are shifting their um, their um, yeah their their capital uh, from USDT to USDC part of them of course so we will see what's going to happen in my opinion that will be a relatively softish transition um, but I don't know what's going to happen with exchanges that's purely trading with USDT like for example KuCoin I'm trading on Q uh, KuCoin and I'm thinking to remove all my 
assets from KuCoin just because of that, because that could be a b big risk, in my opinion. So let us see what's um, going to happen here. And as you see here, the stablecoin supply is rising. So it means they are minting more stablecoins. Um, we will check, but it's mainly USDC and no USDT. At least uh, they are getting more USDT inflows to treasury than mining. Uh, I didn't see any data indicating they are at the moment printing s some, some tether, to be honest. So let us take a look to the flow activity. Well, as mentioned, today it's like Sunday. It's absolutely very quiet very quiet and just yesterday and I think this money is still it's it's what they are still using um, we received yesterday here 145 million in stable coins and here 180 million in stable coins so it, that's a, a lot of stable coins and afterwards very flat so we are talking about 1 million or 10 million here again um, that was 20 million and the only yeah the um, only volume since well I would say since that was yesterday right yeah since yesterday that was relatively high that was um, tonight 2740 bitcoins inflow and since then absolutely nothing they let the price go up I mean the market was extremely overheated and it was it's in my opinion very healthy what they are doing however I don't think that's it okay so what happened um, and we will check. I can tell you that those 2,700 bitcoins, mm, the big part of it was from Market Maker. Okay, so someone asked me why they do that. I don't know. Ask them. <laughs> I can't tell you why they are doing that. I don't know. Maybe just because they just don't want to let the price go up more, you know? I mean, we need to see if here uh, the market maker is involved again. We received, I mean, um, as soon as we are reaching the 21,000, it seems they are triggering something because then inflows are rising. So it seems that 21 is going to be um, the local bottom, uh, the local top. Uh, we need to see because they, uh, I mean, we are talking here about 300 million, you know, 300 million in stable coins with the volume that we have, with the price. I mean, we are talking about almost 15,000 bitcoins. That's a lot. So, however, um, we need to see if that's going to play out or if they are going to once again to surprise us and then we go down again to retest that area something I would expect but you know today everything can happen I would be very careful with that so yeah and that's it so also here just nothing in outflows nothing big 2700 but that's it and that's I mean they are trying again again to retest that area of 20,800 and they are failing once again because yeah then the sell pressure starts to rise so it seems 21,000 is the max at the moment and I'm thinking maybe even too short here but I don't like they they in the past I I was never a big weekend trader Oh, I see 1,600 Bitcoins arrived just two minutes ago to Coinbase. So it makes sense. They are preparing again something. However, um, I, I, I never have been a big um, trader.
trader, weekend trader, just because of the situation, scam pumps, scam dumps, and so on and so forth. And it's the data is um, not not good enough weekends just to detect something that could be uh, useful and helpful. So, but today I think I'm I'm really thinking too short if we are going to visit. 21,000 to short 21,000. It's really, really interesting because my call yesterday at the beginning when I detected it was looking very good, this, you know, the start, the initiation of this lift up, I said, oh, it looks like we can go to 21,000 and let us check what's going to happen there. And afterwards, when they flip to mainly futures, I said, be careful because you know, but I wasn't shorting all the time because the market maker wasn't really active. For me, the market maker is the dump master. If I see the market maker or, or for example, <laughs> I've tweeted about that today. If the fund flow of Bitfinex is, for example, indicating there it's rising uh, here, for example, or here, you know, they are going to dump afterwards as well because that's what they are showing at the moment. So we need to see. Um, I'm really struggling at the moment. Uh, let us take a look to the futures. So we can see that they started to lift up, or at least the demand for longs lifted up. Very crazy here, but it was constantly lifting up from um, that was actually, I don't see the price from here on that chart, why not? Um, yeah, from the local bottom at 17,800. And afterwards it declined, so the price declined afterwards as well, as we can see here. And then it lifted up again. And it looks like it want to flip, but I'm not really sure. However, uh, it looks at least on futures and as they are mainly using futures right now just to lift up in price and we can see they are retesting 21, 21, 21. They are n right now pushing again up and yeah, we will see what's going to happen next. If they are going just to push and to break the 21 and that's it, you know, I mean, that's also possible. So invalidate a possible double top and that's it. If the market maker, yeah, just chill, it could be possible that they um, can make that because they are pushing with all the stable coins they still have there, I guess. I don't see, I, I, I don't think that they used all those um, stable coins yet. So, and um, yeah, we see here as well that even stable coins today, just nothing, uh, just a little bit, nothing big. Even here related to Bitcoins, 3,170, it's the biggest volume we received. So, uh, so absolutely nothing. But as mentioned, um, it's not surprising me. I was expecting such kind of yeah, very quiet day just because, uh, you know, the all the algos synchronized with SPY are not active today. And even then, if we take a look to SPY, uh, to uh, DXY, we can see DXY declined after its retest of 105. I can imagine um, it, yeah, it would maybe decline a little bit more to 104 and then start to lift up again. And um, if that's the case, so tomorrow could be a red start, but we need to see, right? So, however, let us take a look to the blockchain whispers and we will see that many people are right now um, still more longs, but almost 50 to 50. Uh, 51 to 49. Well, I mean, Bitfinex, I don't care about Bitfinex. And even here, 52 to 48. You know, so 
uh, we are just coming to a level where I would say that doesn't look that bearish anymore, not that much. If we take a look, for example, now here, FTX, let us take a look what's happening there. Wow. So someone is, yeah. Um, I mean, that, that, that's really crazy. Um, from volume, I would say we still have a little bit more longs than shorts, but that's really crazy here. So someone placed shots here a lot and it seems that could be part of it just to go there and to wreck them you know one twenty one three hundred why not could be it right so we need to see what happens afterwards let us check Binance that was FTX So, and we see here as well on Binance, yeah, I would say also here more volume on the long side, but however, it looks like so very synchronized. Yeah, also 21300 on, Bit, uh, on FTX and Binance, that's the same, the same trade here it seems. Very interesting. So it wouldn't surprise me if we are going to 21300 and then flip again. So we need to see. Let us take a look to the options. So let us talk about the CVD and um, if we can find something useful there, uh, we will take a look to the entities once again. Uh, at the same time, we know related to options that um, it doesn't look that bearish. And uh, I, I just was talking um, to to George Vekwitz. Many of you know George. George is uh, um, another analyst on Twitter, and he is providing a lot of information to the Spanish community. And we are going. Uh, to work together in the future. We are working on a website together. We are going to provide both. We are going to provide um, some analysis and uh, we were talking about my metrics and what I have found, you know, and he was talking to me and just said, however, be careful if we maintain above of 21k that could initiate a bullish phase and I mean that's possible you know relief rally we were extremely oversold usually I would expect a retest of 17.5 because the whole price action doesn't look like an accumulation schematic I don't see on the entities I'm ac um, tracking at least the biggest one I don't see any accumulation schematic there. That doesn't look like a spring. I don't know exactly what they are doing. However, um, we will um, see what's happening at 21k. If they finally can break 21k and how the market maker is going to react then. Because if the market maker is protecting this range between 21 and 21,300, it could be an indicating us that he is shorting, he is not going to allow that someone is going to push the price up and to liquidate him, uh, for sure. So we need to see and to track them. 
However, I also think 21k could be the key, but we need to be very careful because uh, the whole situation is very dynamic in my opinion and everything can happen, right? So, let us go forward and let us check what's happening here and why I think that doesn't look that solid like it should if that's really a bounce indicating that we are initiating a bullish phase okay so i i would say right now it's 50 to 50. maybe a little bit more bearish 60 to 40. but however we see they have started um, mainly here with um, futures relatively I would say yeah uh, the, w the, the way down and at the same time and that was the first thing and um, I have tweeted here actually if I remember right that it was looking extremely solid because I at the same time I have detected also nice spot purchases but it was just here and then afterwards they started to lift up a little bit but you know i'm i'm still missing like last year the big push up it wasn't aggressive enough it wasn't i don't know it it looks like so step by step pushing a little bit more up with 300 million in stable coins that we received uh, Friday to Saturday and that's it actually so we need um, to see what's going to happen here and okay that's um, so the 30 minutes and even here you see that you know it's it's not really big what they are doing I mean 14,000 Bitcoin that's cumulative Delta so indicating that's for me the CBD is much more a trend indicator and it's indicating for me they're buying more than selling at the moment but as you see that's a big difference you know I mean futures wow looks extremely crazy and they are even shorting here with bitcoins and that's something also we should have in mind because uh, that that's crazy you know I mean they longed and now they are shorting also something we should have in mind so if we take a look here uh, we received those 2300 bitcoins from market maker or from these entities labeled by myself as market maker and um, now he is done it seems we can reduce the we can reduce the time frame a little bit and to see if he sent even more but no no he is sending pushing the price down now unfortunately we can't see what he is doing because it seems the data is not available however uh, if we take a look here we see that the market maker lifted a little bit up so indicating it seems he bought also some thousand bitcoins not big at least less than ten thousand so i think something like six thousand seven thousand and that could be um at least last time he dumped afterwards with uh, the fresh purchase bitcoin so we need to see if that's going to happen again um, these guys here also bought nothing big. Let me check. Um, three, yeah, almost 10,000 Bitcoin and maintains. Also, not indicating any accumulation, as you see. And these guys here, it looks like they have started to accumulate. I mean, uh, if we check, 4.4, yeah, 20,000 Bitcoins. You know, since we uh, went from 30k, so not that bad in my opinion. And well, retailers are just buying. 
and big as you can see uh, it's I mean it looks big it's not that big but um, 30,000 Bitcoin since uh, I would say yeah beginning of June and even this year 20,000 the blue one so with less than one Bitcoin so retailers were buying um, and yeah I mean we are talking about retailers maybe some weights with 100 bitcoins you know they split then in five bitcoin wallets or whatever that's something we we can't see actually here so that's it let us take a look to the exchange walls so we have coinbase here and it looks really quiet i mean even if we check here the order books you know i mean we have here the yeah accumulated uh, order counts or and pff, that's not even 1000 bitcoin here uh, that's it so not even 1000 to sell and to buy for 17,000 for example 2,000 Bitcoin uh, well um, however we see the CVD here also indicating um, they are lifting up and we don't see any big walls uh, well yes at 34 we see some walls but we don't see any big walls here S still waiting some buy orders here but and that's it coinbase looks so quiet to be honest um we see here on Darabit still waiting here a lot of sell stuff at 30k oh at least that would match to the uh, puts and yeah they remove the wall here so also nothing big even here we can see it's low volume 1 million 1.8 million so really that's extremely low um on bitstamp more density here in the lower ranges and here waiting at 30k as well so 30k 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 you know sometimes when you hear 30k too many times you know something is happening I mean that would be crazy from 20 to 30 and then maybe from 30 <laughs> to 17 or something but everything is possible we need to be really open-minded and just figuring out what these guys are doing so even here that's uh, Binance um, I mean the order book doesn't look that big as well we have here if we check to let us make maybe 1000 instead and we can check until 30 that's nothing I mean 4500 bitcoins waiting there that's really not big absolutely not you know absolutely not so we need to see also here what's happening and instead on the buy side we have at 17 waiting almost 5000 bitcoins so that's indicating um, they don't want to let the price go down that much not yet uh, of course we need to see what's going to happen next right so the price is declining um, because the market maker is pushing the price down again as you see and we need to see how far he is going to go with that so but however nothing on the upside and downside many orders still waiting there Bitfinex well at 22 uh, 5 waiting and 24 but also mm, nothing here let us check here also okay yeah at 24 waiting a lot of stuff to be honest 
but uh, more yeah and that matches very well bit phoenix is more on the bearish side that matches very well to my fund flows that they are selling the tops the local tops so also very interesting if takes perp so here we can just make 1000 to check also here we have more to the downside if we check for example until 30,000 we can see we have less sell orders and uh, the biggest orders here are right now at 20 if we check here we can see so they are pushing the price up it seems Some of these orders are also spoofing, I guess, so... Uh, let us take a look to Kraken. Just give me just a second. And let us take a look to Kraken. Let us go here also to 30k. And if we check here, we see well the maximum uh, Kraken more buy orders than sell orders as well. And if we take a look, also here more more buy orders at 20k than sell orders at 21. Also very interesting. So not that bearish to be honest. Bybit, well, you know, I'm so sorry, Bybit, because <laughs> uh, I have tweeted today. It seems these guys have some some trouble, and um, yeah, what should I say? Always the same. N I don't see any manipulation here. Let us take a look. Uh, here we have more sell orders than buy orders it seems also very interesting so let us take a look bitmax what's happening here On bitmax we have here a big wall at 25k let us also here check What's happening here to 30k? Just to check. Oh, we have also here more buy orders than sell orders. And even here, I mean, yeah. My buy orders than sell orders at 2021. Binance futures, always the most important one. We have uh, 21,500 and then a lot at 22 as well. I mean, some looks like they want to limit it, limiting at 22. Of course, we still have a lot of um, buy orders on the downside. If we check here also, 1,000, we can see, wow, look, 22. Wow, that's crazy. So 22k, they won't prevent 22k, and even here 23. Wow, that's that's crazy. That's going to be a challenge then. So we need to see if uh, that keeps there. We have more sell orders than buy orders at that range. So let us take a look to Bitfinex derivatives. Wow. One, two, three, four, five at twenty one seven. Uh, doesn't really look like they want to let the price go up, right? Let us take a look here. Yeah. 
much more sell orders in that range, and the biggest one at 22k. So it seems the local top could be at 22 instead, not like I thought at 21. Hmm, maybe that would be interesting. Too long a little bit, and then to flip to short or something. We have this cluster of low volume orders here, but nothing down. So very interesting what Bitfinex derivatives are doing here. So yeah, 21.7, Kraken Futures, nothing. We can also check here. more sell orders than buy orders at the moment and if they spot yeah more in the downside of course okay we have here more buy orders than sell orders that's a very interesting just to see you know uh, what what's the tendency depending on the exchanges because uh, that matches very well to the CVDs as well, you know, I mean um, they are just, they want to absorb more Bitcoins and lift up while others are at least, it looks like they are working against so very interesting okay, then let us go to the last chapter and I will talk about my personal conclusion